I'm Emily Canal. I'm Inc.'s resident Shark Tank expert, and this is a special edition of Tips from the Tank. We are reviewing my favorite pitch from season 10 of Shark Tank. Today we'll be talking about Sauce Moto. It's a company that makes a dip clip that you can put in your car in the air vent so you can use ketchup, mustard, whatever sauce you want on your nuggets, on your fries while you're driving. The three founders came in asking for $45,000 for 15% of the business and from the start they were just all jokes. They knew that their product was pretty silly, they knew that they weren't asking for a lot of money, especially for Shark Tank steaks, and they just rolled with it. Let's say you're enjoying your nuggets when the driver suddenly turns onto a cobblestone path. Oh. And suddenly, <laughs> a strong gust of wind comes from the east. It's hardly <laughs> ideal dipping conditions, but not with Sauce Moto. Ah. That's right. Any sauce, any climate, Sauce Moto has your nuggets covered. They were the purveyors of freedom, and they just leaned into the silliness of their product, and the sharks really seemed to enjoy it. Mark Cuban admitted that he eats a lot of meals in his car once they referenced the data point from Stanford. The Stanford study concluded that there's 20% of American meals are actually consumed in automobiles. Wow, I eat probably 30% of mine. So, Do you really? and there's a lot of... Yeah. And it got the sharks talking. Yeah, you know, this is an actual problem. When you're eating in your car, it's very hard to use condiments. These guys also had a really smart ad campaign going for them as well. They had created a bunch of videos to sell their product and they got 44 million views. Robert Hershevec asked them how much they spent on those videos and it was about four grand, which is really small to get that kind of play and that kind of interest in your product. Protection? Yes, son. I always keep a couple in the car. I'll show you how to use one. Kevin O'Leary was the first to make an offer and it was pretty bad. He offered them $45,000 for 50% of the business. After Kevin made his offer, Barbara and Mark both went out. So that left Robert Hershevec, who made an offer, $45,000 for 40% 40 of the business, which still isn't a great deal. Then Kevin O'Leary countered. He came in offering to drop his equity down to 25% so they could all be equal partners. And that's what got them. We got a deal. We got a deal. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There's very few times in these seasons of Shark Tank now where we see someone coming in asking for $45,000 to the point where Kevin O'Leary even joked, Now let's go make hundreds of dollars. All right. <laughs> the three takeaways from this pitch are know your viral potential, back up your company with stats, and lastly, show options for scale. Number one, think about viral opportunity. Sauce Moto is not the most serious company, but they weren't afraid to lean into that with creating videos that had a lot of viral potential, a lot of laughs, and create a lot of jokes about their business so they could laugh alongside their customers. Number two, back your company up with statistics. The real turning point in this very silly pitch was the moment that they referenced a Stanford study that said 20% of Americans consume their meals in cars. And it started a discussion about how prevalent this is. Yes, their product is very silly, and yes, they made a lot of jokes about their business, but they were tapping into something real. Americans do eat a lot of meals in cars, and dip is a huge component of American meals. We love our condiments. So, if you're going to go in with a silly company, make sure you're backing it up with a statistic or two to show how relevant it is to consumers. And number three, show options for scale. These founders had a really smart plan for how they wanted to sell their product. They were in talks with fast food chains to talk about the opportunities there. They thought about car manufacturers. They really knew how to take this business from an online retailer to something much bigger where the consumer who is buying fast food might encounter this product. It was a very smart plan and it got the shark's attention. I'm Emily Canal. Thanks for watching the special edition of Tips from the Tank where I reviewed the best pitch from season 10.